Hello, good morning guys. Uh, welcome back. After about three tries, I'm finally st starting to record in this camera. The first time I started recording was uh, the uh, lens cap was closed. <laughs> And the second time the mic was far away, so it didn't really get good audio on it. So now, hopefully it's getting recorded correctly. This is a 10C, uh, which I got from one of my friends, because I thought I needed another uh, Senna for my wife as a pillion. So I thought, let me just try that out. So this will be my second camera uh, recording. So, uh, it's a beautiful day. It's been uh, raining a lot of these weekends. So, today it's finally clear and sunny and about 59 degrees. Perfect weather. And uh, I'm heading out to my usual, not the usual, but one of my favorite uh, routes. This is basically uh, going over north of Prosper, uh, taking a little bit of 455 and then 121 to white right and then the 697 out there is a really fun road which somebody told me and I've tried it out <laughs> it's a good practice route for uh, for beginners and everybody <laughs> so that's what I am so that's what I'm heading out uh, enjoy the ride uh, and that uh, yeah things have been pretty good I'm getting used to this new bike and uh, it's uh, it's great you know the last video I uh, I emphasize too much on the low seat, I think, uh, but uh, you know, that was one of the, I think, key points of this bike, but other than that, it's pretty much similar to my old bike, so, anyway, so have fun guys, just gonna head out from here, right, see you in a bit. Okay guys, uh, we are here at the intersection of 67 and 697. And this is the road to Ida from White Right, and it's an interesting route. A little bit of twisties and stuff like that, so let's have some fun. Okay. I figured out that a couple of guys told me if you keep a gear lower, you can actually accelerate much faster through the corner. See that? So, so and also, if I move my weight in front, my handlebars become really light, and then I'm able to really hold the bike with my feet and then turn around the bike like crazy. So. That's the plan. I don't want to be, don't get too carried away because I can't go over 4,000 RPM in these bikes right now. So, so it says 30 miles an hour, so I just get it down to fourth. And then I can just power my way through. Keep my bars light, lean in front. Much better than the last time I did here. Reduce the accelerator, increase, increase, increase. So the more aggressive I want, the lower gear I go into, which is, uh, you know, I don't like to do that on a regular basis, but that's how it is to be done, I guess. So just, and lean more, lean forward more and lean into the bike more, so you can get more lean angle out of it. Uh, <laughs> yep, that's the fundamentals behind it. If you want to do it, you can do it, but I'm not that keen on doing it all the time. So just if, if you know the technique, you're good, and after that it's just a matter of having fun. So, uh, beautiful day today, so it's like 61 degrees, feels like 75. So. It is nice. So 40 mile an hour it says I get down to I can get down to fourth actually so that I can really power my way through. Lean forward, bars light, feet gripped, look ahead on the curve and let it rip on the accelerator. That's how you get this 
speed if you want to. I'm not really keen, but let's a few times here and there. Yep, might be a good idea. Not that difficult, but you gotta focus and get the fundamentals right. It's beautiful there. So this road basically connects uh, White Ride to uh, Ida and uh, gets a, got a lot of uh, twists and turns. You see most of the roads here are actually right angles uh, <laughs> for some reason. I don't know, it's good in the long run because uh, you know, uh, you have roads going north, south and east, west instead of uh, you know, going in all different angles and messing everything up. So, but for riding I guess uh, you don't get those long sweeping curves or whatever the guys want to do. For me, it's just to ride and talk. <laughs> but it is a beautiful day. It's 35 dig 35 it says, so get it down, get the speed down. 35 typically, if I do it in third gear, if I want to be really aggressive, third gear, otherwise fourth. Let's do third, so you can slow down and lean forward. And actually, you rip on the accelerator. See that? I can actually rip it up because the more you want to lean, the more you want to accelerate. So here it says this way. Let's go down to third. Third seems to be a good gear. And then lean. Lean, 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 lean. Ooh, my RPM is going about 4,500. <laughs> you don't want to do that. So I better go easy on the lean so then I have to make sure that I don't have uh, to accelerate as much so I kind of take it easy a little bit so just a little bit of throttle so a little bit of lean there's a bird so. oh, this is this is fun stuff and easy so that's what it is get the fundamental rules right guys a lot more easier and a lot more fun you don't have it have to use it all the time but it's there if you need it so, uh, 35 if I want to be aggressive I get a third gear but I want to be a little chilled out so I just go in fourth do a gentle throttle gentle lean and I can take this curve that way so Simple as that, simple as that. More aggressive, more throttle, more lean. Fundamentals, your handlebars are absolutely light. I'm just leaning forward and as the guy says, uh, think like you have eggs in your hands. So, that's where it is, a beautiful road. Yeah, but it's been a fun day, it's been raining, but now I'm thinking, oh, I've got about 322, 32 miles on this. So, get the first service done at 600. Maybe take some trips. This is fun, but uh, maybe trips will be more fun. So, 40 mile an hour speed. So, if I want to be gentle, I go into fifth. So, I can accelerate through it. If I want to be aggressive, go into fourth. So, lean, look ahead on the curve. Lean. The more I lean, the more my leg, hands become lighter on the handlebars. When I say lean, lean front, not the bike. <laughs> yeah, this seems like a sharper curve, so I better go to third.
this is the town of Ida. Oh, the steps of turns, the steps of Ida, oh, that's what I should call it. Looking ahead on the turn really helps uh, on the curve, you know how much you want to accelerate in which, but it takes a little bit of confidence though. Initially, you're just scared and looking down. You're not looking up. <laughs> uh, it gets the, the hands leaning front is really helpful. It just totally gets you comfortable. It's a beautiful view here. It's a nice twisty road here. end of this road I just need to figure out how to head back That was fun. 
So I'm just gonna head back now.